I estimate this piece weighs about um, one and a half tons. That's a liberal estimate. I feel it's important to err on the side of uh, estimating something a little heavier. We've never put it on a scale. We reopened in July 2006. Uh, we considered placing this piece on view in the Joe Davidson space on the second floor, um, but determined that the floor would not support the weight of the object, so it was not placed on view. We're on the second floor of the National Portrait Gallery in the installation devoted to the work of Joe Davidson, who was one of the most important sculptors in America during the first half of the 20th century. The National Portrait Gallery has a collection of over 60 of Davidson's works, 14 of which are featured in this installation. We also have here a very tiny head of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, very different from the monumental stone sculpture also in our collection. This small head, also based on Davidson sitting in the White House with Roosevelt in 1934, was made out of something called pot metal, an inexpensive white metal. And these heads were cast in bulk and given as gifts to supporters of Roosevelt's re-election campaign in 1936. Davidson would take his clay master, create a plaster cast, and then cast many of his pieces in metal, often in bronze. His foundry outside Paris was very well known, the Valsmani foundry, and Davidson was a master at using uh, patina to create uh, in that finishing process for the bronze cast a play of light and dark across the surface of the facial features to increase that sense of vivacity and animation.